What's crackling, everybody? I'm Grobmasto. Welcome back to Space Engineers. It's been a while, and I don't know how long it'll be till the next one. I, I still want to play this eventually, like I, every once in a while, but there's so many other games right now. So many other games. Um, and I feel like I've done a good chunk of things in this, other than going insane on, like, specific little tiny details. But this is the space station I finished. I finished it. I finished it. I'm super satisfied with how it came out. So, like, the top. We got the top. Looking like this. And the best part is, I took you guys' advice on how to make it spin. So it spins. Very slowly. I, I cranked it up, made it a little bit faster, made it slower. Figured out exactly what, what worked and what did not work to make it spin. But it does spin. And it stays in place. It's awesome. And the best part is, you can basically not even see any of the thrusters or anything. So I went down here in the bottom. And I covered the whole thing up. So inside of here, there's actually a thruster in an empty space that goes down. And... It just has like so that it won't tear anything up and it just sits here and spins and then it basically does that on each and every single one of them so it has like these little t's on the end <laughs> but yeah I, I was able to round it off even on the corners as much as i could anyways i mean you can't really fully round it off but i i really like how this came out like it looks it looks awesome and we got our docking ports of course come in here dock your ship either that you don't even have to necessarily dock it there you just park it like, what I was doing was, uh, I want to say one of these actually has a ship in it. Yeah, this one has one ship in it. And, I mean, it, I left, this is the only one that's actually open to space, because then it actually goes to a wall, and everything else is closed. This one does not have any sort of ventilation on it, though. I, I was in, I'm intentionally leaving it that way. I'm not 100% sure what to do with the rooms, so, I mean, I kind of just left them as they are a bit. And then in here, I mean, they've got the bed. Wait, is this the bed? Yeah, that's the bed. I can turn this thing back on and actually see. Yeah. So this room is airtight, though. This room will vacuum seal. We got our fill-up one over there. There's one on each of these airlocks that sucks it back out. And then... I think that's really the only one I set up. Rear... Yeah, everything else is just basic rooms to fill up with whatever. And we have our energy refill over here to make sure that I don't, you know, die when we're here. I don't actually have any oxygen in this because I didn't go out and get any ice. But then we come through our front, like our little entrances, and there is gravity in here. So I added gravity, which is awesome. Um, I like being in this view. Too much stuff. But yeah, this is. These hallways are great. I love the fact that we can just sit in here and watch. And it's just sitting there spinning. You're not gonna hit, right? I don't think you will. This thing, when I was sitting there, I was trying to get it to spin the right way, you know, this way. Um, it was doing loop-de-loops -loops going up and down like this <laughs> and where this was parked was actually like right inside the middle like perfect So it was spin around and it would just go right through that. It was kind of humorous. It's pretty humorous Yeah, you're good. You're not gonna smack. Okay But then yeah, we come out here. We got our little, you know, welcoming desk. I apparently never finished the actual What? Okay, whatever But we yeah, <laughs> so there's the door that goes down into the crafting area, but we have over What's happening here? There we go. We have our gyroscope, which is what's making this thing spin. And then we have our gravity component. And right now the spin on the gyro is what? Oh, it's already on the gyroscope. Yeah, just 0.1 RPM having it go around in a circle. So, I mean, that's what's keeping it going. So thank you for those comments. I, I legitimately had no idea how to do that. But yeah, we have a thruster that points in every direction. And then the up and down thrusters are attached to... Turn this thing on real quick. Down here. Ow! Forgot this gravity. I'm almost dead. I almost died from that little fall. Holy crap. Here's... I gotta go back and heal myself real quick. Because otherwise the screen's gonna be solid red and it's gonna drive me nuts. Woo! That, 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 was, a, that was a painful fall. <laughs> Luckily, we got the healing thing right here. Okay. What's happening? Why am I floating backwards? What is this? Oh, I'm not floating backwards. The thing is spinning. Never mind. That's amazing. All right, we come in here, though. Um, down here is the crafting, so we just kind of take this little airlock, which also has its old... I never put one in here. Never put a 
just, I didn't even realize. I never put a vent in there. There's a vent in here to fill it with air, but there's no vent in here to suck the air out. Hmm. Gotta make sure to do that before I actually turn it all on. But in here we have our crafting. So a lot of it's stuck on the ceiling. We have H2O2 generators or creators, whatever. We have the assembler, large storage, large, uh, the helium tank, and it all connects into two refineries, which I haven't added any add-ons to. But this is all, yeah, it's all connected together. So it comes up here, it connects to these, which go into the ground, and then they're all covered up on the sides. That's also what's in that T, is the uh, intro to the airlock, basically, from these tubes. So it kind of comes around and bends. It does this. It goes that way. Kind of goes over here and then goes into the actual space. But yeah, I, I really, really liked how this thing came together. The thrusters, they're so hidden that I can't remember where they are. There's one. So there's the up, and then this would be the down over here. So all the thrusters are pretty much like tucked in, tucked away. You can't even really see the thrusters, which was pretty much my goal. I added two connectors up here, so that way I can use the big drill I have, wherever the crap that thing is, right there. Go get some ice off of the asteroid that's whatever we're near. Oh my god, space is weird with the no up and down. But then I can connect there, because that, that thing is way too big to possibly connect to the bottom. I haven't tried connecting anything with it spinning. I feel like that may be a slight issue, especially when you're going to like park something. It's just gonna you're gonna gonna be harder to land it. I just think it looks cool when it spins. But yeah, this is the bottom. We go back to the top. And then up here we have our reactor that's turned on. And there's not really anything in here. There's not really a reason for it to be there other than the fact that I really like the, just the look of it. It looks awesome. And then the paint job. I, I proceeded to try to like add a little bit of, you know, a little bit, a little bit of something to it. So we have our landing pad right here. These ones just have a hangar A and hangar B, and the all the doors right here are actually named hangar B doors, hangar A doors. So I actually have them like set up like that, so that works out well. And another little entrance, which somehow one of them, like this one, I don't know how I did it, but it's bigger over here. I'm not 100% sure how. I, I swear I made everything like equal like it's symmetrical but it's not because somehow this side ended up having multiple like it had four or three in there compared to the other side that only has two or three so it's weird I'm not sure what I did different it's just slightly smaller <laughs> I mean I really don't see it I mean the only thing I can think of is maybe the walls Meteor storms are nice because they come in, they try to mess with this thing, and now because I have all these turrets on here and all the different ways that they can look at it, like it, it's golden. It is golden. But I mean, and this is as far as my space station goes. This is the biggest thing I've built so far. I did blueprint it and stick it on the workshop. Uh, it is called what did I call this? I think the Krill Station. <laughs> wow, you guys are actually getting relatively close. Other than the one time where there was a ship that got too close and destroyed some of the base, and then like two meteor sh meteor showers that came by before I put the guns up, everything has been perfectly fine over here. Oh, man, I love this spinning. Just that it spins around. It's so entertaining. Super slow. I mean, I haven't really set anything on here. Uh, yeah, no, I guess all these guns. Pretty, pretty stacked. And I mean, I was thinking about maybe, like, make it even more defensive, add a gun to, you know, maybe the bottom or the sides here, too. But I feel like these ones alone are just amazing. Like, they've stopped anything and everything that's come at us so far. So the defenses seem pretty adequate. Is the, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hmm, do we have enough? Yeah, there's enough there, even. Then with these added to it all, of course, because each one of these ships has guns on it. There's four guns on here, and then there's like, I don't even know how many guns on this one. <laughs> there's quite a few guns on this one. None on the bottom, but on the tops and the sides, so it's kind of facing away from there. This protects everything around here. This protects anything coming from this direction or other side this way. The other ship, because of the way I've been pla I have it placed, is protecting... Oh, I just turned it. That's right. The last thing I did before I, I turned it so I can get stuff off faster and really build up the inside, because the building the inside was all by hand. I had to weld everything inside together like these these I could do on the outside no problem with that welding ship 
but like the intricate de details of like in here and stuff you can't i couldn't get the welding ship in here i guess this isn't as much as it inside the main station but yeah i i really like how this came out and how well it came together just a lot of empty rooms is the only thing because there's not i don't know what else to add to them i did just get all those little pieces so i mean there's like new pieces like that but uh i just i don't know don't really i feel like everything's already pretty much set up in the in the center of the thing <laughs> yeah this is uh this is a sh short video so sorry it's not the longest but i mean this this has been something i've been working on for the past several weeks just over time slowly building it it's it's nice to just come and build on here every once in a while which i may I may still keep doing builds every once in a while on here but i got i got like the gamer add so staying sticking to one game for a long period of time i have a hard time doing it once i feel like i've done pretty much most everything like i built a space station i built bases on several like on the moon on the asteroid you know even if i go to another planet it's still going to be just another planet so i, I don't know i don't know I feel like I've done most everything in this game at this point. Except for maybe the small little tiny things. Oh, how did I miss that? Maybe I didn't, maybe I saw that and I just didn't care. It's very possible. Placement of it. Yeah, there's nothing I could really do with that one. No, oh, I fixed it on the other side, right? Yeah, it's just by putting it, just because it's not... And then This was like a lot of the little things I was doing on the station. One of the reasons it took so long is every time, you know, I... I'd build it up, and then I would want to do a little bit of difference. Like, this this hangar wasn't originally planned like this. All of them had their tops off, like that one over there. But I, I slowly kind of just put this together, tore some of them down, kept reshaping it, reshaping it, so it was just perfect. <laughs> and then, boop. Also, just simply adjusting pieces like this. I should have enough. Rotate, rotate, rotate. That one. And just rotate you right there. Stop rotating the ship! Okay, and it's not considered a station because of the factor that it is rotating. Like, that is one thing I had to turn off. People were very accurate on that. I did not realize that was a thing. But by turning that off, it has no problem with the gyro rotating now. Okay, there we go. See, that's that's right. That's how all of them should be. Yeah, I thought I did that to all of them, but apparently not. Except for these, of course. Like, even this. This was multiple adjustments. Originally, this was much smaller. It was only like two out, and then I wanted. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, it seems a little bit better to have this as a bigger landing space. And I thought about putting a actual connector here, but any ship big enough that would have, it, I would put a connector on the bottom on. I would. I'm basically just gonna connect it here, like this gigantic ship, for instance, uh, my super ship or whatever. I could take that thing and I could just connect it right to the bottom of it, and it would, you know, be able to do whatever it needs. Two reactors going at that point. Two large reactors going at that point which would be amazing on amounts of power it does. Like, right now, this thing already creates an insane amount of power. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed Space Station. If you want to check it out yourself, I do have it on the workshop. I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the description. But thank you for watching the series. Um, like I said, I'll try to come back to it again in the future. I, I, I do enjoy this, but there's just so many new games. And I like to just, like, I love to just go to these new games and then play through those, and the next new game, the next new game. But I never felt like I did an ending to this. Plus, I wanted to show off the station that I have been working on. Because I, I thought it was cool. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.